Hey y'all, welcome back to 828 Find Adventure. Let's put a grill on this 2021 Toyota Tundra and swap out the TSS sensor in the grill. Let's do it. Okay, where to start? How about all this chrome that they plastered all over my Tundra? Okay, that might be okay for some people, but for me, I like the blacked out look. So this is where I'm gonna start. I'm gonna start with the grill and the hood bulge. The hood bulge has some 10 millimeter bolts holding it on along with some little clips. These clips you can do with some needle nose pliers once you get the bolts out. Then basically the bulge pops right off and you install the other one the exact same way. It is a really simple procedure to do. And then of course then you have something that's color matching to your vehicle. You get rid of that chrome that's just blinding. Anyways here's a quick little video of me installing the hood bulge. Okay, let's move on to the grill. Removing the grill is a little tricky, but it's still fairly simple to do. There is a plate on the top of the grill that will need to be removed. It's real easy, it just pops off and exposes the wiring harness. This will need to be unplugged to pull the grill off. The grill takes a couple of 10 millimeter bolts it has some push pins you use a screwdriver to undo. Another thing is have a blanket handy to set the grill on once you remove it. You don't want to lay this on your driveway and scratch it up. These are worth a lot of money. So, you know, be careful with it and you could probably sell it and recoup some of the money you spent on the new color matched grill. That looks so much better. When you get all that done, with two hands, you lift up on the bottom of the grill. It doesn't come off like right away when you do this. You gotta kind of jiggle it. It just, it basically, the way the grill works, it has two hooks that slide in through these slots into the truck and hook. So if you lift up on the grill just right, those unhook and the grill will just come right off. You've already undone the bolts and taken the push pins out. So basically you do this gently, you play with it a little bit and finally it will come loose and the whole grill will come off. Putting a new grill on is so much easier. I'm sure if I did this every day, this would be much quicker. But anyhow, it was a clean takeoff. I didn't break any tabs. It's perfect. Brand new grill in chrome to stick in a box and sell. Now to switch out the TSS sensor and the emblem. If you don't have an emblem like this or a sensor, this is gonna be a real easy swap. 
but since I do, I've got to go ahead and swap this to the new grill. It's a pretty easy thing to do. It has a couple of silver screws for the emblem and the TSS sensor and two hex screws that you have to take out. The harness is held on with a couple of clips and that will take needle nose pliers to remove. Other than that, it was pretty easy. There is two slotted washers in the emblem. You will see those. Those you need to slide out of the old grill and slide them into the new grill. You will see what I'm talking about once you re remove the TSS sensor. And by the way, don't drop it. Here is the slotted washer I was telling you about that was behind the TSS sensor. There are two of them. These will need to go into the new grill. Getting the emblem off the front of the grill without breaking the clips is quite the task. I hate breaking those clips. Even though the emblem would stay in anyways, I wanted to retain them all. It was a brand new truck. I finally got them loose and swapped it over. It was no big deal. Now once you get all that out, you just reverse the procedure and put everything into the new grill. It takes a couple of minutes and you're all set to install the new grill.
Let's put this new grill in and see what it does for the truck. It is so gratifying when you do something and it just changes the whole look of the vehicle. It is just, I don't know why Toyota doesn't sell them like this to begin with. They would probably sell more of them. Seems like Ford has been doing that a lot lately, making their trucks look more like the buyers want them to look. Anyways, it goes on real easy. You just have to install the push pins, the bolts, clip in the harness for the TSS sensor, put that plate back on and you are all set. enjoyed my video showing you how to swap out the grill on a tundra it's pretty easy uh, getting the old grill off and unplugging the harness from the TSS sensor is pretty much the most difficult part if you have to swap out the emblem like I did that takes a little more time but otherwise pulling the grill off putting a new grill on very self-explanatory and real easy to do 10 millimeter socket a screwdriver to do the little push pins and you're all set well I hope you enjoyed it please subscribe and hit the like button. I'd really appreciate it. And I've got some other videos coming, so stay tuned.